All right, everyone. It's me, Johnson Chan, and hopefully everyone's doing <clears throat> uh, quite well. I also forgot to realize that I'm supposed to add an icon for my Cash App. Uh, so let me just put a reminder in my Google Chrome. All right, so it's been a couple days. It's you know the holiday weekend, which I didn't realize until later this week. All right, so. You know, it's like, you know what, there's not a lot of happening in crypto. It keeps going down. You know, stock markets are going crazy. And, you know, it's like, okay, well, you know, we'll just have to wait till next week. You know, so. But with that being said, this went live yesterday. And now that rocket sign zone has rug pulled, you know, we need some kind of like legitimate yield taker as a replacement. Hmm. And you'll notice I have the camera off because I don't feel like putting a shirt on and it's actually very humid here so that's why the camera is off all right so anyway I still want to enjoy my you know nice little vacation here and again I actually want to get back into stock trading because I put in a little bit of money into that and because the and now I'm just doing spider calls all right and then for safe other safe positions I just actually buy stock Right. I just simply do it like what Greg Manorino does, because he doesn't recommend uh, options anymore, but, um, but he does like playing the spider indexes, because that is the one stock that is impossible to manipulate. Right? Only the Federal Reserve can manipulate it, and like you know, they can't just wave old magic wand as strong as they are, because right? these things are big behemoths, you know? So, you know, it's been going pretty well. I... I'm going to also need to do some research on the spider as well. So, you know, I'll talk more about it the next time we do videos, you know. But right now, I just want to just throw out a couple quick ones today, you know, just to keep uh, something going on the channel, you know. Uh, that is also like, you know, making money. All right. So, this is from the Crops Farmer team. Uh, let me see if they actually uh, updated their links yet. Uh, they did not update their links yet. Let's see, but there is a home. Just gotta figure out how to reach. Well, I guess I'll have to do it this way. I'll click their Twitter, then I'll go to home.cropsfarmer. And they have not updated the links yet. I could have sworn they updated the links. Let me see. Uh, okay, well, they, they still need to fix that. All right. Yeah, so they haven't updated their links yet, but it's actually over here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, where are you? Okay, BUSD Crops Farmer dot online. And this is a new video by. I wonder why this thing doesn't show up. Uh, I guess you removed the embed. I don't know. You shouldn't really remove the embed. You just let it. So anyway, it just takes you back to here. So you know, you could just check and see that's clearly the same URL. You gotta just make sure it's the right one. Because remember, it says crops yield farmer, not crops farmer. So, so right now this launched yesterday, there was 252,000 invested. And funny enough, unlike a minor project, there's no benefit to coming in early. So you actually want to come in a little bit later. There's a balance of 227,000. So I believe that's the contract uh, amount stored. Uh, yes, that's exactly what it is. You can see it right here. That's interesting. How is it able to... <clears throat> well, let me think. There you go. Well, this withdrawal failed for some reason. Let's see. The thing is, there's no... Here's the thing. Doesn't this need a little bit of Binance coin to process withdrawals? Uh, let me see. We're trying to see if someone has, has already withdrawn something. Uh, withdraw. Well, that's a re reinvest. That's the compound function. Let me think. Oh, withdrawals are not for another. Oh, yeah, you know why it failed? It's because that guy. How much did you spend on this? Because you're going to get quoted a very large amount of money. Yeah. Withdrawal can only be made after withdrawal call. It hasn't been 24 hours yet. Oh, he, how was he able to get this uh, gas fee? Okay. All right, well, either way, it's uh, it's going to be... It's 22 hours old now. In two hours, it'll be 24 hours. So we should start seeing the first withdrawals. 
Okay, so before we get into which plan is best and which one I'm doing, uh, the way this project works is it's just straight up, you know, put money in, you get money back out. Unlike a minor project, there is no dilution, right? So instead, you just get, you know, depending on the plan you choose, a certain amount of money every day for X amount of days, and then, at, and then that's it, right? So you do not get your money back which it says right here after the plan ends because obviously that would just be this project would die instantly right um but let's see uh, how how do the restrictions work all right so first uh for safety there's an approved button for spend limit apparently it's set to around five thousand so in all so you only can authorize the contract to spend five thousand binance dollars so that way it doesn't like you know it's not a scam contract kind of thing uh there, i don't have anything invested because obviously this is the you know dummy account but you know i actually did put you know a pretty big bag well, whatever bag i had left from rocket science zone because remember you know i always take profits daily and obviously i was able to get back a nice chunk of change still lost money on rocket science zone um but you know if i factor in how much money i've been pulling out ever since i did it you know the losses weren't too bad right and that's why you want to pull profits every day because again, you just never know. So uh, let's see. So that being said, here are the here are the restrictions on the anti whales. So there's a two day cutoff time, which means you stop making money after two days if you take no action. Uh, you have to wait literally one day to withdraw your money, and you have to wait 12 hours before you can compound. Now you do get a five percent bonus. That is not stacking. So you just so you got like a hundred dollars and you compound, you get a hundred and five dollars worth instead. So it's actually pretty cool. All right, um, you you can only invest a maximum of thirty six thousand dollars into the project, and you can only withdraw a maximum of one thousand dollars a day, and that's literally it. And I think the referral fee is like five percent. Uh, yeah, you only get one. You only get a level one referral bonus of 5%, which is just fine, right? Because you, you really don't want, something like this is actually, you know, you want to make sure people aren't draining the contract too much. So as you can tell from the plans, you know, there's a trade-off. If you want the higher AP, uh, daily APR, it comes at the cost of like a shorter ROI. So ultimately, you don't really earn that much, right? On the other hand, the maximum ROI takes the longest so you have to decide for yourself which one that you want right do you want to maximize the amount of money that you can earn which comes at the cost of waiting forever right so that's plan one but if you need the money up front you know it's just exactly like it's a, it's actually kind of like this it's exactly like us bonds right if you, need your, if you need your money back in a hurry right you get a you get a shittier yield all right but you get your money back sooner but you know if you want to, if you only have like a few dollars and you want to really turn into a lot of money, then you have to buy the longer term duration stuff, right? So that's basically how this thing operates. So what I did was I tried to figure out which plan would give me like the best yield in the shortest time possible. But while, I mean, I got to rephrase that. What is the best yield that can last the longest? So for me, I found that plan two and plan three were virtually identical. So because I'm able to be on my computer all the time, I chose plan three. So this is where all my money is right now, plan three. The reason why I don't do plan four is because the 40 day duration actually is very short. So, you know, think of it this way between the difference between plan three and plan four. Can you see this? Yeah, is. If you go from plan three to plan four, your increase in daily APR goes uh, is approximately 18%. However, the amount, the duration of your money making is reduced by 33%. So obviously you lose way too much doing that, right? So that's why plan three is better than plan four. Uh, but with that being said, you could still, I think, technically make it if you are on top of your compounds for plan four, but I mean, I figure, I think it's just easier to do plan three for me personally. Plan two is less money, 
right? But, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, it lasts much longer. But if you actually look at the t uh, base 8 uh, ROI before compounding, it's really not, not that much higher than plan 3. So I figure, because when I actually did the basic math, right, I did a very basic calculation. Plan 2 and plan 3 ultimately make almost the same amount of money. Like plan 2, of course, makes more money, right, but it takes longer, right? Because remember, time is a factor here. So again, I chose plan three. And then of course, if you're not in a rush, then plan one is easily the best project, right? You know, so. All right, so every time you compound, it resets your withdrawal timer. So you still have to wait. So if you compound, you have to wait 24 hours after that before you're eligible to withdraw. So uh, I haven't tested this yet, and I don't think I will, but maybe in the future, maybe I will. But I noticed that when you hit the compound on one plan, you can hit the compound button for free on the other plans, which then sets resets their timers. So, uh, whatchamacallit. So you could theoretically be invested in all the plans if you want to constantly compound throughout the day and not wait out 12 hours. I personally will not be doing that uh, just yet. I'm perfectly fine with, you know, just, uh, you know, waiting the 12 hour clock on my plan three. But if that's the case, I may consider doing plan one and plan two, right, for compounding. I won't make as much money per day doing that, but it'll last me longer. So, I mean, it all, it all just depends on how you want to do it. You can't see the camera because obviously it's off, but, you know, I'm doing that little hand gesture that I do with my forearms. So anyway, uh, rocket science uh, zone rug pulled, and it really sucks. But, you know, again, that's why you don't want to put all your money into one project, right? So... You know, what are you going to do? But these are from the Crops Farmer team, and I really don't think they're going to rug pull. I mean, they, they could easily just steal everyone's millions right now, but so far they've been legit. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, check out BUSD Crops Yield Farmer. Um, in the future, I might try other yield staking uh, projects. I definitely am very interested in them now, right? Especially now that everything else is having a lot of problems. Uh, but again, I'm going to be so paranoid about that rug pull that, you know, I'm just going to, you know, I mean, I don't have anywhere near $36,000 into this project, right? You know, but I will try to build up to that, at least to the point where I can pull out $1,000 a day, right? And then we'll see, uh, you know, we'll see how long this project can last. I think it should last pretty well, right? It should, it should. Uh, but again, you know, well, we'll see how it goes. You know, in the meantime, I'll definitely uh, well, pull out uh, as much as I can. So anyway, very happy that, you know, we got a new good project. This will be going on my playlist, right? So, um, whatchamacallit. Um, I mean, I don't really have any other... Yeah, I don't really have any criticisms for it. I mean, if I really want to nitpick, I could just say that this site doesn't look that great. But, I mean, it's simple. It's to the point. And it still, it still looks pretty nice when you add the crops farmer graphics here, so which is the important part because this is where you actually put the money in. So it's like, yeah, whatever, you know, it's no point in nitpicking. I'll see you in the next video. It's the only one that we're going to do today because, you know, it's the holiday weekend, so nobody feels like doing any kind of work. And it's just going to be a brief update on Sphere because it's now up like 105%, so we got to talk about that uh, after it got a shellacking like everyone else. Yep. Like, subscribe, share this video around. Thank you again to all the old and new people watching this channel. Uh, you know, I rely on you to spread the word about this channel so you keep growing, keep getting richer, hopefully. And then, you know, you go off and, you know, do whatever uh, God wants you to do. So, uh, yeah. So, I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. And, of course, check out Crops Yield Farmer, all right, from the Crops Farmer team. And, uh, yeah, you know, good luck. Uh, you can pick whatever plan you want. And I'll write down in the YouTube description uh, what I'm in, which is plan number three. Uh, but again, it's all up to you, like depending on your situation. So, you know, have fun uh, if you want uh, calculating everything. So, all right. Thanks.